Hi folks, well I uh, got out this week, I uh, went back down to that spot on Secret River where I were two weeks ago and uh, if you saw the last time I was down there I, I picked some good gold, well <laughs> gold out of the last six buckets and I went and dug back in that spot. Now let's put it this way, some gold is better than no gold, didn't get a lot, but hey no no uh, gems either, but I went down, you can have a look. Um, I'd like to mention a guy who's digging on the San Gabriel River. East Fork, I think it is. His, uh, his channel's Odd Ryan. You might know him. You might have seen his stuff, but I quite enjoy his stuff. Uh, it goes around, it seems like there's a really good bunch of guys up there, and last couple of um, times he's been up there, he's picked some nice gold up. But I'll get along with this trip. It's nice to be nice. I'm back, sorry. While I was editing, uh, my friend Prospector Mario came and uh, brought me a clip on belt and the belt buckle. I'll show you that one. No, it's very nice. Thank you, Mr. Mario. And also something for the winter. Oh, God. But what I also forgot to say is these are how far I am with the belt buckles. I've cast these. That's the uh, Jolly Roger. And that's the old miner guy. Now, I did a video of how to make, how I made these. These are not the actual finished product yet. But I'm going to change the backs slightly. I'm I had a better idea of fitting the, the loop and the spike. But if you want to see that, click on the belt buckle and that'll take you to a link to that video. It's nice to be nice again. Right then guys, I think we really missed it this morning. It's lunchtime now. All the Swiss have disappeared for lunch. So I like to come down here. They don't see where I'm going. <laughs> Apart from that one, a bit late. Planner action, block that up, get slew from in there, carry on digging here, start picking some okay sized gold out of that last week, so I'm just going to see how many buckets I can get through in, in two or th well, three hours maybe, and uh, we'll see how we go. Job done. Bit of work for me through here still, but it's useful part of journey. Okay, not major fast. If I can uh, get that water to rise a little bit more, I'll raise the angle once loose a bit and make it run a bit faster. It's not extreme. So, guys, first two buckets. Not a lot. But that hole's been open for two weeks, so I'm probably moving a bit of overburden because there's a little one there, a little one there, a little one there. Hopefully, lots more that I can't see. Keep going. Well guys, I've put eight buckets through. I think the river gods are playing with me. Uh, so last time I come I took six out of here and found two nice two or three nice pieces. <laughs> I've just took two from there. To see if it were higher, because I've, that's gone quite deep. I even took a couple from there. And it's not showing much in uh slows. You can sometimes hear the River God's laughing at you. <laughs> what I'm going to do now, which I didn't really want to do, is I'm going to go up there and pull two buckets off. I didn't do it last week. I'm going to do it this now and see if that shows up a good positive. If it does, uh, I might walk up and down. I might move the sluice. I might just carry on there. But next time, if that's good, I'll go up there. Alright then, two buckets out of there. Remember, I did a couple of test pans down there last week and got some little specks of gold I'll go and run them and see what shows up and uh, I don't know whether I'll be walking up and down though be a case uh, I can't be bothered with that you know what I mean it's only gold for goodness sake
So I run them two buckets. <laughs> I've not seen anything. <laughs> uh, uh, the two pieces, the original pieces, I think, are still in there. In fact, I think maybe while I were up there, the river gods would come and chuck them out at first. <laughs> so, I need to work last week's beer off, so I think. Yeah, I don't know. So the six buckets I took out of there originally were alright. Maybe it's not deeper, maybe it's just in that top bit. I might try just a little bit back here. I know I did dig, yeah, probably dug up to about here. So I could probably dig that back and see if there's out in that. <laughs> well, I'm like a dog with a bone. Um, yeah, I know what'll happen. By the time I'm ready to go, I'll, t I'll put two buckets so when there'll be something nice in it. And then I'll want to stay. Or want to come back next week and not go to a different part of the river. So, I'm going to sit on my bucket and have a snack. I'm going to run another four buckets out of there. Nothing turns up then. I might just have a little wander up there and see if I can find some shrooms. See if the mushroom gods are in town. So guys, I got 16 through in end. I started working this way again. There's a bit more gold than that. Hey, I'm not skunked. <laughs> got a lot more gold than that. There's quite a bit of lead now. Let me show you something. I don't know whether that's a stone or lead or gold covered in mercury. Now, I've never found mercury in here. I wouldn't expect there to be any mercury in here due to the fact that nobody digs it. So, but if it is, some guy, one, one guy mentioned it the other week on, uh, on a video, funnily enough, and I meant to test it and do uh, and just get map gas on it and see. And I always take up lead out, but the lead is funny shapes, you know what I mean? Almost like gold shape. You know, not not just the old the old bullet like you find or shot. So I'll clean that out, see what we got, and uh, hopefully there's a consolation prize in carpet maybe. So. That's the top map. Okay, there's a couple of pieces that are a millimetre plus. Nothing super. There's probably about a piece per bucket, but there's a lot of that funky lead in there, look. That piece that I thought might have been mercury covered gold wasn't. I uh, squashed it with my finger and it broke it with a piece of funky stone or something. But I'll sniff that up and we'll have a look see what's in carpet. So guys, <laughs> the carpet, I think there's five pieces, two you can see and probably three you can't, really find stuff. Oh well. Maybe I should have stayed home and did some digging in the garden. So folks, that is that. More lead than gold. Uh, I did say I'm going to test this but I'm pretty sure that's lead. I will uh, run the map gas over it. The last three times I've been down there, I haven't really done very well. In fact, I'll put rest. What I've got a great indifference enough for bottle from the last two times, and uh, I'll probably end up having to find another spot because, yeah, 16 buckets of dirt for that. I'll show you other from set two weeks or two other trips. And that's everything from that for three weeks. There's a couple of decent pieces of what I found last week. That's why I went back. And obviously, me little amethyst. <laughs> and a few garnets. But yeah, it's a strange little spot. It's either that sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Eh? The river got to fiddle. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I found it, but I didn't. It's a red foot. If you look, it's got like a sponge underneath. Although it doesn't look very appetising. But at least they're here. In the woods, 